Coriolis force or Coriolis effect is a fictitious force. It's not really a force, but it does have a real effect. We're going to have a look at it with the aid of this wooden turntable. One way that is greatly misunderstood is that many people think that Coriolis would be the turning of the Earth underneath an object above it, like this. That, most emphatically, is not Coriolis. And what's more, it's impossible due to the conservation of momentum, which I think we need to look at now. If we take a tennis ball and just drop it, as expected it goes straight down towards the Earth due to gravity. The reason it travels in a straight line is that the ball, the car and the entire Earth are all sharing the same momentum, all rotating at the same speed. So let's change the momentum. This time we'll drive the car past at 20 miles an hour as we release the ball and see what happens. Well that was all very quick so we'll play it again at a slower speed. As the ball is released it falls to the ground at the same rate. However, this time it's also got a forward momentum of an additional 20 miles an hour. It tries to maintain that momentum. An object in motion will remain in motion unless acted on by an outside force. In fact, there is an outside force in this case, and that's atmospheric drag. The atmospheric drag is the reason the ball doesn't quite keep up with the hand that dropped it. So to compare the two, while the car is stationary, the ball falls directly downwards to the orange marker box. If we place another marker box under the point where the ball was released while travelling at 20 miles an hour, it totally misses. It's still accelerating downwards at exactly the same rate of 9.8 metres per second per second, but it has the additional velocity forward and it maintains that momentum. So having seen conservation of momentum in action, we need to take it back to our Coriolis demonstration. We'll start by marking our centre point, the point of rotation, and another point out towards the outer edge. Now let's say we want to fire a cannon from the outer mark to the middle. We're going to want it to go in a straight line like this. Now we have an issue in that the Earth, or this wooden disc, are rotating. Now it is one rigid object, and so it's rotating at the same speed, but the outer areas are having to move faster than the inner areas to complete each rotation. So let's fire our cannon again from the outer marker towards the centre point, but this time over a rotating body. The cannonball will fly straight directly up the screen, but it has a sideways velocity due to its momentum it had at the start. That gives us a curved path. That is Coriolis. Coriolis is the deflection from a straight path that is apparently seen on a rotating surface when you are moving from an area at one rotational speed to an area at another rotational speed, but while maintaining your initial momentum.